My husband and I and our two kids will be going on a six day trip with average temperatures between mid 40s and high 70s. And in the past, anytime we went on a trip, I actually used to share a carrying on with our daughter. And there are undoubtedly many benefits to using a carry on. You don't have to have your baggage checked, they're just so easily portable. And just depending on the kind that you have, all of the compartments can just make organizing and arranging your items much more easy. But now that our son has been born, I decided that the two of them will be using the same carry on, and I will be ditching the carry on altogether and using something else instead. I will be using this diaper bag, which you probably wouldn't have guessed is a diaper bag unless you have one yourself. I didn't have a designated travel bag, so I decided that I would just repurpose the item that I have rather than getting caught up in consumerism and having the desire to purchase more items. So this is it. So starting with the outside of the bag, in this side pocket here is where my water bottle lives, and I have the brand Yeti. I am a big fan of Yeti because my husband works in construction and I'm a home nurse. We do not have microwaves or refrigerators around, so this is a very reliable product for me that keeps our things hot or cold. Actually, I've burned myself with hours long coffee, so you have to be careful with that, but it just fits nice and snug in this pocket. It has hooks on the side where you can attach things and on this side here I actually have this is supposed to be a pacifier bag which our kids don't use but you can fit things like cables for your phone or ear pods and things like that I won't be using it but it's already here it's not bothering anybody so it'll just hang out and then on the front pocket here is where I will keep my wallet and my wallet is kind of small but this pocket is actually pretty large so it could probably fit a small phone in here and it's actually a cloth type material which is very soft so I think it's made for things like phones so that it won't scratch or hurt your items that are a little bit more gentle I will also have a separate like toiletry bag, but I'll just kind of show you here in this zipper, I will keep kind of the main toiletry items. And on the side slit here, we have an ointment type balm. I have eczema, so when coconut oil is not enough, that is what I use. And of course we're in a pandemic, so hand sanitizer cannot fail. It also has this hook for keys that I can just attach them and have them easily accessible. And here it has like a little slit that just keeps things together from falling out. I have basically a travel toothpaste and our foldable toothbrushes. I do not take my homemade toothpaste when I go on trips because this is just much easier. And this is actually my menstrual cup and I'll show it to you. It's very small so I don't have to ever take pads or tampons. It's foldable. It's by the brand Intima. I actually tried a Lena cup before, but it doesn't fold like this one, so I like that it's just so easily transportable. And then on the side here, we have just a regular soap bar, and this one is very multi-purpose. You can use it for your hands, body wash, just my husband uses it as a shampoo. It is just all around a very versatile product, and of course I have to put it in a case because I'm not about to waste a perfectly good bar of soap. Mama is taking it back home. So that is it for this front zipper pocket. It's basically the main toiletries that are in here. And on the very front, it has a magnetic closure, which you could easily fit a passport inside, but being the mama that I am, we have children's books, which why not, right? So it just snaps shut nice and easy. And on the top here is where I would put my phone if I was using one, but I'm actually going to be going on a two week no tech challenge with no phone, no computer, that type of stuff. But because I'm not going to be taking my phone this time. Instead, I will be using it to place my camera gear, which is not really very much. It's just my charging cord, an extra set of batteries, and then of course, the camera that I'm actually using to film right now. So that is it for that pocket. Now on the side here, because this is a diaper bag, is where it would normally have the baby changing pad, but I've removed it. And instead, this is where I'm going to be placing my planner. 
and because I'm not going to be having a phone with me or a computer, this is a definite must. I cannot go without this thing. So it will just be nice and roomy in this little pocket right here, which was kind of hard to zip one-handed. And I love that because it is a diaper bag, it is cushioned on the sides. So it's cushioned on the arms and the back. This is actually a very comfortable bag to travel in. And it could easily fit a laptop, which would make it much more comfortable to carry than a conventional bag. So sometimes I think you just have to be creative with the things you already have and repurpose them for other uses. Oh, and of course, I forgot. I have to take a pen because a planner without a pen is very useless. So it'll just live right in here in this front pocket. All right, so now let's show you what's actually inside the bag. And this zipper closure actually opens up like a suitcase, which initially when I purchased the bag, I didn't really think about. It was just something that just kind of happened, but it actually serves pretty well for this purpose as a travel bag. So on this front zipper is where I usually place just dirty laundry, which sorry, it was hard to open one handed, <laughs> but I have a little bag that I've repurposed as my dirty laundry bag. and. This is a tip that I have for you. Undoubtedly, having packing cubes will make it easier to travel in. I actually do have one. But if you have little bags like this, or you, you don't have the money to buy a packing cube, or you just don't want to buy some, you can reuse the things you already have. My husband has this husky bag that was actually from some sort of a tool that he purchased. You could use this to put your clothes inside, to put your dirty laundry. So you don't have to have a designated like packing cube or purchase all of those designated travel items if you don't want to, or you don't have the budget for them. Make use of the things you already have, even things like a little pencil pouch or other little baggies like that. Like this pencil pouch here, for example. You could put little um, technology things in there like cords and chargers. This bag that I have here is actually a bottle bag, which I can easily repurpose because it's easily collapsible and even like small little lunch totes you could use to be able to organize your things. So be creative. You don't have to go out and purchase new items specifically for travel. This little bag, for example, is actually where our wool balls were kept in or actually arrived in, but I use it for my underwear and I, that's actually where I keep it on a daily basis. And I did mention that I do have a packing cube and this is the one that I have had. I've, I've had this for years and I can't necessarily say that I would recommend this brand. It's pretty worn out. I don't think that it's necessarily sturdily made. You can see that's kind of tearing apart at the seams, but you know, it's what I have. I'm going to make use of it. Okay, so let me show you what is actually in this little travel case, because there's actually quite a bit that fits in here. The one thing, if you can have packing cubes, they do make things much more easy because you can see how much it expanded and how much fits in there. So I have basically one strapless black bra that I can use with any kind of outfit. My socks just fell out. <laughs> I have one little baggie, that's where I kept my underwear in, and then I have four tops, which I roll them up because that makes it so much easier to fit inside the pouch. Now as far as outfits go, I would really recommend that you have versatile items that you can either dress up or dress down and that you can actually layer. So for example, I had a satin top that I had just shown you and these are spaghetti straps, so it's gonna be a little bit warmer during the day, but I can also layer it if it gets cooler at night. I can wear this cardigan, for example. And another tip as well is to wear these types of things that are a little bit bulkier, a little bit warmer, actually on your person instead of packing them inside. So I'm actually going to be wearing this cardigan on the way. And then if I get a little cooler, I can also layer on another piece, which I have just a basic black trench coat. So these types of items you can wear on your person instead of packing inside and it saves you so much room. As far as bottoms go, I just don't really feel that I need a whole lot of them. So I'm gonna be wearing this pair of blue jeans and I also have another pair of black skinny jeans which I feel like I can dress up or dress down if I wear, for example, with my satin top and a cardigan. And it's just very versatile. I don't think that I really need a whole lot. A lot of places that you go, you can actually wash laundry if they get soiled. So two is basically enough for me. And then I also have just a pair of black, or not black, these are definitely not black, a pair of basic shorts, which are very thin material, so I could use them to work out in, to sleep in, to swim in. They're just basically my all-purpose shorts. And because they are so small, they just fit so easily inside the little pouch with very minimal space. 
And I actually fold my socks into little rolls and I find that this saves me a whole lot of room and heartache trying to find them. So let me show you how I actually do it. I place one sock over the other so that one is higher than the other. And then basically from there, I roll from toe to the ankle. And then I just wrap over the ankle portion and it makes like a nice little taco. This saves a lot of room, it looks much more organized, and it's gonna be easier to find them as well. And similar to the socks, I also think that it's important on how you fold your shirts. So I just basically roll them up as well so that they can save room this way. You can either store them upright or on the sides. And so let me just show you how everything is packed up nice inside this little pouch. I was gonna say neatly, but not really. I just kind of stuffed it in there. And I actually didn't show my socks in there, but I did go ahead and do it afterwards. They do definitely fit. You just kind of smush everything together and it's nice and neat in one little pouch. So that is all for my clothing, except for my shoes, which we'll get to that in a moment. Let me show you my toiletry bag. This is actually my makeup bag that I use on a daily basis, and it has everything that I normally keep in here, plus a couple of things. So let me just dump it all out and show you what is in here. One of the things that you will notice is that I have one of each of these items. Well, except for the bobby pins. And one of the items that I've added is these silicone earplugs, because I don't know about you, but mama loves her sleep, and sometimes it can be hard to sleep in unfamiliar environments. Inside this little container is basically where I keep my lotion, or my version of a lotion. It is actually coconut oil inside here, which was hard to open one-handed, so I'm sorry, I didn't show you, but there's coconut oil in there. And I probably could go without taking my grooming scissors, because I don't think I will need them, but they just live inside here on a daily basis, so eh, why not? They'll just stay in there. And there is just one more item that I'm going to be taking, and it's just a pair of flip-flops, and I can use these to lounge around in the house. I actually don't use flip-flops to go out in, but I use this little baggie that, again, I've repurposed because I don't like to keep my shoes touching other things. And so let me just show you how everything fits inside. So I have the flip-flops, all of my basically clothes and undergarments, and then my little pouch. So you can see that between all of these things, I mean, this is my bag fully packed. I still have more room and so maybe I could put in like a dress or a skirt and sometimes though I like to leave some empty space that way if I were to go somewhere and I decide that I wanted to purchase something I could come back and have more room although I don't see that likely usually I think about my purchases before I make them but this is it this is basically my bag fully packed and ready to go and as you can see it is plenty roomy and of course, I did not forget about shoes. I will actually only be taking this one pair of black booties. And I would recommend to you to find a pair of shoes that is very versatile, something that you can dress up or dress down that you find comfortable. For me, I find these very comfortable because of their thick sole, but I love their versatility. And they can keep my feet warm during those colder nights. So guys, that is everything that I have in my bag. I hope that this video has been helpful for you, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel, and I wish you guys happy travels. Thank you for watching. Bye.